All right, let's talk about arcs in circles, which is a little bit redundant, actually, because if it's an arc, then it's a portion of a circle. <laughs> but generally speaking, uh, an arc is part of the circumference of a circle without going all the way around. Uh, if we go all the way around, then we call it the circumference. But if we only go part of the way around the outside of a circle, that's an arc. And when you describe an arc, you describe it, if it's a small arc, like so, from, say, E to H, we describe it with two letters, the starting point and the ending point, and we put a little arc above it, like so. When you describe an arc, however, it's always represented by some portion of the circle that's been cut out. So sort of this little pie slice here. So visually representing an arc on a circle also includes this interior angle right here that we call a central angle. And this central angle will be the same as the portion of the circumference that the arc has been uh, sort of cut out of. So in other words, if we have, say, a 50 degree angle here, then this outside arc right here, this section from E to H, would also represent 50 degrees. And that's 50 degrees out of the 360 that represents the whole circle. So you can see that often it will be represented as a fraction. Of course, we would reduce this. And then once you've represented the inside, or the small arc, we call this a minor arc. In fact, let me label that. A minor arc. And this, this label here represents a minor arc. By representing a minor arc, you've also set aside a major arc, which is the rest of the circle that wasn't cut out for that minor arc. And a major arc can also be represented with letters. However, the only difference is that it's always we always use three letters to represent a major arc, or the rest of the circle when we've cut out a minor arc. So in this case, maybe we'd call it uh, E, H, J, for instance, or H, J, E. It doesn't really matter. If we call this H, J, E with three letters, and then put the arc symbol above it, like so, then we know that this must be a major arc. and that it must be greater than 180 degrees. Because if this were less than half of the circle, it would then, of course, be the minor arc, and there'd be something else that was bigger than it is. So terms we're going to work with are arc, section of a circle, a semicircle, which is 180 degrees, half of a circle, 180 degrees, um, central angle. Central angle is the angle that is on the inside and then, of course, forms the arc on the outside. A minor arc, which is an arc that's smaller than 180 degrees, and then a major arc, which is what's left when you cut a minor arc out of a circle. All right, so let's take a look at how those terms work with our example questions.